Let's solve this problem by completing the square. Got x squared plus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. Now our first step is to divide everything by the number in front of your x squared, which uh, we don't have a number in front of x squared, so we can go to step 2. Step 2 says take your number, your constant term, to the right side. So I'm going to take the 1 and move it to the right side and it becomes a negative 1. Step 3. Take the number before the x, which is 6, sign included. So if this was a negative 6, we'd take a negative 6. Take the number before your x, multiply it times a half, and square it. Well, 6 times a half is 3, and 3 squared gives us 9. Then add that to both sides. So we've got x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals negative 1 plus 9, which gives us x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals negative 1 plus 9 is 8. Step 4, factor the left side. Uh, left side factors as x plus 3 squared. Now remember the trick to that. Whatever number is right here, sign included, right before you square it, is always what goes right here. And uh, I'm going to do that in red. Step 5, solve uh, using the square root property. Square root property says if you got something squared equal to the other side, drop your squared and put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Now always you should simplify your radicals before you go on. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Remember the square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. So here's a pair of 2's. So a pair of 2's is going to come out in front as a single 2. So we got x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus 2 square root of 2. I can't bring this 2 out because there's only one of them. We need two. We need a pair of them. And then I'm solving for x, so I'll take a negative 3 over. And we get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 2 square root of 2. And that's our answer.